Earlier this year, the FDA approved a new drug for Alzheimer's that elicited a swift and disdainful response from the medical community. Where are we at with that drug now? That's the topic of this week's healthcare triage. Aduhelm, a drug approved by the FDA on June 7th to treat Alzheimer's disease, isn't all it's cracked up to be. In our initial episode on this, we pointed out that while trial data suggests the drug is effective at reducing plaques in the brain associated with Alzheimer's, it is unclear at the moment if this does anything to slow the actual progression of the disease. That's because neuroscientists still aren't sure if those plaques actually cause the disease or if they just happen alongside it. The drug also has some potentially serious side effects, meaning the harms could vastly outweigh the benefits. We also discussed the drug's cost, $56,000 a year, and how both taxpayers and Medicare beneficiaries would bear the brunt of that cost. The burden of high cost might be acceptable if the drug made major headway against the disease, but evidence just doesn't support that right now. Given that older individuals would be the most likely to use the drug, Medicare increased its premiums for 2022 in large part because of the potential of having to cover the very expensive treatment for millions of seniors. Then, in response to backlash and poor uptake of the drug, Biogen cut the price almost in half. This prompted the Department of Health and Human Services Secretary to order Medicare to reconsider those increases, a request which they are now reviewing. There was some initial concern that Medicare would deny coverage of the treatment altogether, with the cost then falling on state and federal Medicaid resources to the tune of a $2.6 billion national increase in costs. However, on January 11th, Medicare announced a preliminary proposal where it would cover the treatment, but only for patients enrolled in clinical trials and only those with mild impairments and proof of the amyloid plaques associated with Alzheimer's. That means way fewer people will have access to the drug, but things could change pending Medicare's final proposal, which we'll see sometime this spring. However, based on current data, and given that it appears a major factor in the drug's approval had to do with questionable dealings between Biogen and the FDA, we're not sure that we're too concerned over limited access to the drug. And others seem to agree. Many major U.S. hospitals have decided not to even offer Agilhelm. Biogen's pretty upset over Medicare's coverage proposal, but despite their claims of being worried about patients getting what they need, we think it has a lot more to do with money. However, we are concerned about the potential effect on Medicaid's resources and concerned because the proposed coverage decision by Medicare will apply to other Alzheimer's drugs. If the data behind those drugs suggest they are more helpful, we'd prefer, of course, if more people had access to them. Alzheimer's is a terrible disease, and the approval of an expensive drug with seemingly limited efficacy is wasting a lot of time and resources that Alzheimer's patients and their families can't afford to waste. Hey, did you enjoy this episode? You might enjoy this previous episode on air pollution in the United States. We'd also really like it if you'd like the video and subscribe to the channel down below and go on over to patreon.com slash healthcare triage where you can help make the show bigger and better even during a global pandemic. We'd like to especially thank our research associates, James Glasgow, Joe Sevitz, Edward Lillaholm, and Brian Nam, and of course, our Surgeon Admiral, Sam.